Hi everyone and welcome back for this project. The plan is based on the Nabus 2000 from Harry Potter. As far as what I'll be using, I have this piece of Robinia pseudo acacia or black locust or Robini for acacia in French. This tree is considered as invasive species in Europe. You can eat the flowers, but the rest can be quite toxic to humans and animals due to the presence of robinin and lectin. The first step is to remove the bark and then get one side flat using the, a draw knife. It was the first time I used it and it, it needed to be sharpened, but it was a lot of fun to use. It took a lot of time to get it flat at both ends, so I ended up chopping as much wood as possible with a hatchet. After sharpening again my draw knife, I flattened the other side too. Then I cut it to size using one of my Japanese saw. The wood is ready now to get the rough shape of the flying broom. I first draw the shape on the flat side and went to the bonsu to cut as much waste as possible. I resumed shaving until I realized I didn't need that much wood and I would win a lot of time by cutting it in half. So I fired up a laser, drew a line and cut it in, a, in the middle. The only problem was that the face the drawing was on is now the face I want to use. So I could be following the drawing to use as a template later. After that I went back to shaving 
I started by the top of and bottom of the broom and then moved to the sides. With the rough shape established, I used a spoke shape to get closer to the final shape. I was especially careful to keep the broom straight. You don't want a curved flying broom unless you want to just to fly in circle. I guess going fast in circle is fun for some people, but it's not really my thing. It was a long process. I think it took more or less 50 hours to finish the project, but honestly, I had a lot of fun making it, especially using the spoke shape. I checked if it was straight, and it was. Then I checked if it felt right, and it did, so I resumed shipping. As it was for my sister's birthday, and I had other things going on before, I had only a few days to finish it. The curved front was taking too much time and was really hard to shape. Maybe it was because it was hand grain, so I finally gave in. I used a cabinet scraper to clean all the marks left by the spoke shape. I considered engraving the Daisley Hallows symbols on the front and fill it with black epoxy. I even pra practiced it, but I hadn't enough time to let the epoxy clear, so in the end, I didn't do it. I also added uh, an ash dowels as a support for the brush and then moved on finish. For the finish I simply used a hard oil and later polished it with some bee wax and linseed oil mix. I first made a template and checked if it would look right and it did. For the footrest I wanted something darker than the black locust to give contrast so I used some mahogany I stored up there.
on the bonzo I tried to cut big pieces so that I would reuse the leftovers. I don't have a lot of this wood and it's rare and expensive. Then I shaped it with the spoke shave. I use the spoke shave a lot during this project. I also use a block plane and some wraps to refine the shape and finally clean everything with a scraper. I wanted the footrest to be at an angle to the broom, so I made a template to carve the groove. The only easy and fast way I could think of to fix the footrest was to use screws, so I drilled two holes that I plug later.
after a quick sanding and making sure it was clean, I up applied some sanding seal. Then I sanded it and cleaned it again and finally applied some hard oil. And while the finish was curing, I made the brush. Alright, so having a nicely shaped broomstick won't make it fly and if you want it to fly you need a little bit of magic and as you may know, the magic often com comes from magical creatures like for the wand you can use phoenix uh, feather or dragon's heart and luckily I have a magic creature at home Alright, so this is Nessie and she, she is my magical creature. <laughs> so why is she magical? First, she has some angel's wings on her back. I don't know if you can see them, but I'll put a picture. Also, how is it possible for this dog this short to be, to be this long? Why is she possible to eat that much snacks and still be hungry? Also, how is it possible for a dog to shed that much? I mean, it's incredible. So she's magical and I'm going to use some of her uh, sheddings. When I groom her, I keep some of her shed shedding for a project like this one. So she provides the magic needed for this project. Yeah. I rolled Nessie's hair and wrap it on the doer using a cord. For the brush, I got this Heather privacy screen at a hardware store. I cut it to the size I needed and hot glued it and rolled it on the door. I added different layers until I had the shape I liked and used some hose clamp and zip ties to tie it together. Then I twisted a big needle and threw all around as tight as possible.
I also removed all the metal wires I could see. I also trimmed some fibers on the inside so the brush could be pointy. And after a uh, final trimming, I went on the final assembly. Here I'm stripping some copper wire to wrap around the shape. When I looked at the Nimbus 2000 picture, it has this feature I like. And this is what I'm making here. It's done.
I had a lot of fun making this gift for my sister. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And you can also support me on my Etsy store and on Tipeee and Patreon. Thanks again for watching and I see you next time. Bye!